Hello everyone, welcome back to the LTM podcast. I'm your host Daniel and once again for another year I'm joined with Alex. Alex, welcome. Welcome to 2024. How are you? Thank you. I'm well, thank you. Another year, we're here. That's it. And we were actually meant to start in a couple of weeks time, but uh, someone named Brody has kind of changed that. Um, if you haven't been on the news or haven't seen online recently, uh, it's only just been revealed today. Kostecki is parting ways with Erebus a month before the first round of the se- of the season. <laughs> this actually could be a really short podcast because I, I'm lost for words. I just what happened? I, I was in the shower and I saw it, and I almost tripped over. I couldn't believe it. So we had to make this emergency podcast. Um, yeah, this was unscheduled. This, <laughs> this is, is unscheduled. There was just too much happening today. They were like, yeah, we need to start early. I was, yeah, we are getting ready to do a pre-season preview in two weeks' time. Um, you know, comfortably, you know, chilling, getting ready for Walking Shore to reveal their car. <laughs> and bang, yep. My Here God. we are. Okay, so let's get into the story. Um, so... Uh, apparently, this um, rumor has been going on since last year. Um, apparently, there has been s- well. some uh, some beef, I guess, uh, or some tension between Barry Ryan and Brody Kostecki. <clears throat> um, now, by the way, before we get into detail about all this and stuff, uh, I just want to make it clear: nothing has been confirmed. Uh, either side hasn't said anything. This is all from Speed Cafe. This is literally the only article we've got. Um, but usually Speed Cafe is pretty good at being accurate. So we'll work, we'll work with it. Um, it's a bit of a huge thing if, uh, it is wrong because the news has posted it. Everyone's yeah. posted it. Fox Sports, everybody. Surely it's so official. Well, it's not just us talking about no. this. <laughs> well, if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense as to why um, nothing has really been announced in terms of Erebus. Like Todd Hazelwood, he has not been confirmed as a co-driver yet. Um, even though you know a, a lot of lot te- a lot of teams have already confirmed that, um, but you know Todd hasn't confirmed his plans either yet. I remember he potentially doing a season in Trans Am. But that could all change. Um, He's in the... Let's say if Brody goes, um, which is highly likely, um, Todd Hazelwood might be in prime position to take that seat, purely because of the link he has with Erebus this year. Well, it it makes sense. So, Mm. you know... uh, Yeah. We're still trying to process it. I just don't get it. Like, what the heck? Like, I can kind of understand if there is an issue with Barry and Brody. Mm. I kind of, I'm not kind of surprised because Barry is who he is. Mm. And maybe Brody, you know, in being in a winning position, maybe more demanding with stuff. I don't know. Maybe. I also have a very, and don't quote me this at all because it's not true. But Everyone, Everyone's going to quote you now. Sure. <laughs> I have this really sneaky suspicion and this has something to do with NASCAR. Yeah, probably. So, look, I saw one article about it, that it could be that. However, nothing was ever confirmed. I just know he's really close with one of the NASCAR team owners that he raced for when he did the wild card. Just what? like Shane, he, uh, Shane was. He came to Adelaide, didn't he? Um, mm-hmm. I forgot his name he already, was the, but he was, he was at the he was track. At the, yeah. Um, but no, I, I think you're right. Maybe said some things. Maybe said some things behind the scenes. You know, if, if this is too much, come over to the US. I don't know. I re- yeah, I reckon you're onto something there because um, he was already going to, I think, do some NASCAR events this year anyway. So maybe he found an opportunity to get out. Because may I thing is, it's hard to know the full story because we're not them and we don't know we're not part of the and team. And there is no story. <laughs> exactly. So we're, everyone's just speculating at the minute. But uh, probably maybe there could be some tension going on because you know Barry Ryan is a bit of a, char- a unique character. Um, uh, he he's definitely unique. I'll put I'll put it there. Um, 
he's pure, I guess you could say. He's pure. And, uh, you know, maybe there is some tension between him and Brody, and maybe it's been going on for a while, and Brody's maybe just found a way out. Um, so, who knows? But from the way this sounds, um, he will at least be sitting out the opening round. Uh, who knows? See, it's, it's hard, because... <laughs> not a lot has is is been sa- like not a lot has been written about this. No. Um, so whether he either has a NASCAR gig next year or this year, or he just simply left the team. And the thing is, there's yeah. no other spots for him to go to. So I'm no, not sure what's so going to happen. That's kind of it. If he's not in, then he's out. Exactly. And. Which is a real shame because it's a once again we don't see the number one on a car. Yeah, I thought about that today too. I was like, oh, we were so we just close. got there, so yeah. close. Um, because um, what? But I, if if this is true, mm. we're going to crown a new champion again, which is exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, it you know it's it's just going to be weird. I think more than anything else, it's going to feel weird for sure because. It's going to have the same feeling as when probably Scott McLaughlin left. Yeah, but it's you know like how, we're going to have then? a season without a champion. Well, the whole year, whole last year, right? This is the thing. The whole of last year, it was Gisbergen versus Kostecki. Yeah, they're both, they're both gone right. now. So it's... But the thing is, that provides... You know, it's not over yet. You know, don't give up. Because we've got amazing young guns... In Brock oh, Feeney. I'm going to watch it in spite of this. Yeah. this I've been gives... waiting for the years for Shane to go anyway. I'm watching the whole season, don't worry. This gives uh, Brock Feeney a perfect opportunity um, to win the title. And even Will Brown. We're probably going to see another Triple Eight dominance. But... Um, I don't know, but the way those Mustangs finished the year off last year... Well, it all depends on how the um, wind tunnel testing has changed, like has affected it. Um, it's, we won't know until round one. Mm. But, um, yeah, I reckon, I'm hoping Tickford, given they've got two cars, um, they're in it, hopefully. And maybe, hopefully, Walkinshaw as well. I'd love to see Ryan Wood definitely up there. Maybe not up up there, but um, definitely, you know, up there, because he is a great Chaz. driver. Chaz as well. Honestly, yeah, honestly, don't, Chaz can't, can't wins some Chaz. races, man. Yeah, Chaz well, he, had a dismal year last year. Oh, he, he deserved the he deserved a better year. Yeah, well, I guess every Mustang team struggled last year, but uh, we'll get into more of that uh, in the preseason live stream, which we might do, might not. I'll let you know. Surprise! <laughs> Hopefully, uh, we do. <laughs> um, it, no, seriously though, we we we'll, we'll, we'll aim to do a live stream for that. That'll be cool. Um, because what we'll do for our supercars is we'll live stream the preview for the pre for the season. And then uh, we'll only live stream reviews. Um, so every weekend preview will be just normal like this. So, um, yeah, no, so oh, we, <laughs> I'm still, is, like, we're, we're going to like, we have this plan of what to do and when, and then yeah. today Supercard News is just like, no, nah, you're so, doing it now. The so next question is, is, if this sounds really unprofessional is because it is. It is, and that was without not the Kostecki stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. Um, we, we won't mention about the Smith incident, but... Uh, um, Someone's happy in this room <laughs> about that. Yeah, no, so it's confirmed that Jack Smith is actually replacing it. Um, Coca-Cola is yeah. leaving, <laughs> and instead is SCT Logistics. <clears throat> So uh, there you go. Fake There's your news. announcement. Fake news. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, they, though, they, they, did, reckon... they did the champion for. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you thought the silly season was over, oh, yeah. that's God. not silly. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's freaking nuts. Could you imagine oh. if that actually happens? Oh my! I'll kill I, myself. I can't believe it. Like I thought we were okay once Jack Smith left and. Um, Evans replaced him. I thought that was it in terms of it, driver changes. Oh. No. Actually, have we? No. Never have mind. We? What? I was going to say, like, in the preview, we'll gloss over all the all the driver changes. This was yeah, just yeah. talking about Hopefully, 
hecticness. Yeah, and hopefully by the time we do that, um, Car 99 has a driver. Yeah, so if, the, Who knows, if you're wondering Barry... why this isn't a preview yet, is because the season's not even finished yet. Yeah, well, apparently. Set in stone. Apparently. We thought it was, now it's not. Oh my god. But uh, no, Barry Ryan is actually going to be driving that 99 seat. <laughs> um, you heard it here first. There you go. That's the true reason. <laughs> Um, no, nah, but seriously, who do you, re- do you reckon Todd will get that seat or do you reckon someone else? Cause, um, on our TikTok, um, let's talk dot motorsport, by the way. Um, a couple of guys have actually hinted at like they, they want Declan Fraser, which is actually a great option. Um, I reckon there's a lot of drivers that actually deserve that seat in my opinion. Yeah, but now, it, but now it's a championship winning seat. It is. Literally. <laughs> you got huge shoes to fill and I was not going to lie, kind of unhappy when Jack LeBrock signed there. I was like, really? You're replacing him with Will Brown? I mean, mm. for Will Brown? It's not really an even trade, in my eyes. Jack LeBrock was won two races in his career. He's getting um, better, though. He's getting there. I must admit, he is better than what he used to be, especially yeah. moving to Matt Stone and making them pretty competitive. Mm. However, this seat is now a championship seat to fill. Um, bit more pressure, just a bit. But then, but then again, I guess Erebus has kind of made themselves. I wouldn't say a laughing stock, but this doesn't help. Well, the thing is, uh, it's awkward. It is awkward, um, and I feel for Betty. I feel for Betty. Yeah, they've gone from championship to now Jack LeBrock and someone, and who and, and no one at this stage. That's um, what I mean. So, like, how can you go from? It's just such a down... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, the downfall is insane. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, but yeah, like, it's not Betty's fault. Surely not. I don't know. But no, um, I do feel for her. Um, she's been through the wars her, since she began with um, in 2013. And for the... Like, to go up to the highest high... To yeah, just it took suddenly... 10 years to get to here. And then, yeah. then now you're back to, what, halfway your... Well, well, granted, they, you know, Jack LeBrock might be good. Who knows? But... I, I, I have faith in him. He, he'll do. I reckon he'll do well. He proved himself last year. He may have had a rough start to his career in supercars, but he's um, he's like fine wine. He's uh, gotten a bit better as he got older. Um, <laughs> True. But, so I'm hoping he does well this year. But the Look, thing I, is, I can't really think of anybody else besides. Todd Hazelwood, no. who, who we know is already signed with the team. All they have to do is maybe Scott High. Yeah, the thing Scott is, Pye though, is he's already got a contract with Triple Eight. Oh, there's with Triple Eight. I never so, mind, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore I don't think he'll give up a Triple Eight seat for Erebus. No, no offense to Erebus or anything. It's just why would you? Again, that wasn't an offense. That wasn't you know. <laughs> anyway, must admit, at least to be in a better car, but. Um, True. But, yeah, uh, look, because Todd's already signed with them. That's that's exactly think. what I thought. Yeah. See, nothing's been De- confirmed. Declan Fraser, Declan Fraser is well. I don't know if he just didn't like the Mustang, but he showed no signs of being. No, nah, he he didn't have a good year. That's for sure. Uh, whether that yeah. was him or the car, or both, uh, it's hard to tell. But could you when, could you imagine if that team goes? Sorry, if that team goes from Brody Kostecki to Declan Fraser. Oh, the thing is, no people. Some pe- guaranteed people won't be happy with any um, driver. Oh yeah, no one's going to be as good. No, so even if no offense, but see, no offense to Todd or anything. Like I, I, he, he's good, but he's not Kostecki good yet. Not yet, anyway. But it's yeah, it's it's <clears throat> Will Brown and Brody Kostecki carried that team all year. They're the reasons why they're. Um, like well, a they huge... built up a couple of yeah. years, you know? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they joined the team... What? It was 22 they joined it, didn't they? Or tw- 21. 22 they, they both 21. became official. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Cause, 21, um, Brody was still the gotcha. backup, wasn't he? Yeah, gotcha. Um, but, yeah, no, like... They carry... They, they, they you know... They uh, brought the team... Oh. to the gate. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm trying to say. And yeah. now... Erebus have lost that sort of thing in a matter of a couple months. So 
I'm sure it'll be all right when it comes in comes two weeks time. But uh, for right now, everyone's kind of a bit um, brain stuffed. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm still in awe. Like I don't oh. know what to say. It's it's crazy. Would love to know your thoughts, by the way. Let us know in the comments. Yes. And uh, if you're listening on Spotify, do check us out on our social media um, as well. We tend to answer pretty regularly on TikTok as well if you're on there. Because I'd love to know everyone else's thoughts on this as well. Because obviously this is massive, massive news, especially if it's on the news. Um, <laughs> so it's it's nuts. But just another thing, another thing <laughs> in the supercar. Another, thing. yeah. But, um, yeah, no. So, I reckon that we'll leave that there uh, for now. Um, but stay tuned for a couple weeks' time. Maybe the week of um, <coughs> the Bathurst 12 hour, we'll do our preseason preview, followed by our um, Bathurst 500 preview in the same night as well. So, Get ready for that. Hopefully, Erebus have a driver by then. Hopefully, everything's settled down. I've, we've got lots of livery reveals coming up between now and then. So, exciting times ahead. So, stay tuned for our TikTok as well, because I'll be covering all of that. Um, and whatever the hell this is, this uh, Erebus thing, we'll work that one out too. We'll be doing live streams as well once it, once we reach a 1,000 followers as well on, on TikTok. Um, and once I get it working... I would love to do that regularly, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so any final thoughts before I wrap this up, Alex? No, it's going to be a great year of content. It's a bit of an intro to the year, I suppose. It's not, a f- no, Like we said, it wasn't planned, but um, yeah, lots of content to come, lots of lives. Um, yeah, TikToks will be cool soon um, once we get that going. And um, yeah, let's just enjoy the, enjoy the year. I think it's going to be really good. It's going to be good for us, I reckon. And uh, a lot of laughs, which we've already started with, which is great. And um, yeah, let's let's, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So if you don't know yet, or if you haven't checked out the social media, uh, we're growing this year. Uh, Instead of two series, we've got four series. Yes. Um, We've got, of course, our Supercar series continues, our F1 series continues. We'll potentially be doing MotoGP. Uh, when that kicks off, and then Motorsport Report, which actually was meant to be the first video of the year, um, which now this is, because thanks to Brody, uh, that will be out later, probably Friday or Thursday. So we'll see how we go, but uh, if you want more information on that, do check out social medias, and it's all there. But uh, you can catch us on, uh, down below, you see all our tags and stuff. Let's Talk Motorsport, well, Let's Talk Dot Motorsport on Instagram, TikTok, Let's Talk Supercars, Facebook, and Let's Talk Motorsport, YouTube, and Spotify. And then Alex, well, you can follow him on Alex underscore Spinoz on Instagram, uh, as well on Twitch. Um, do you often do, you do the Twitch or you come back to it? Uh, to be revealed. To be revealed. Uh, you heard it here first. There. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, you changed you can, that. You've changed it already? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. All right, I won't reveal that one, but you can follow him, Alex Spinozzi underscore sim underscore racing on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, yeah, that's all from us. Um, stay tuned for more action. Uh, and uh, yeah, bye for now. Bye.